Let's talk about where you're at, what you're talking about to... Oh. Melissa Stark? Melissa yes. Stark, okay. Mid-December was the report uh, during Sunday Night Football. You didn't throw on Sunday because you just weren't feeling it for some reason. Is that the plan? And why didn't you throw? Because those videos, I think, were not only us, but Jets fans are like, yes, Love it. feed us more of those. With Devontae on the other side, too, I thought there was a chance maybe, yeah. <laughs> you know, Devontae would happen upon the other end of that. Why didn't you throw? Do we have a setback? Where do we sit in mid-December the goal? Sorry. A lot there. Go with it however you want. A lot of questions there. <laughs> yeah, just roll. Uh, if, I, if I hadn't seen Devontae the night before, then I probably would have gone out there and, and maybe seen him and, and uh, at least thrown him a couple of balls. But Sunday was my off day starting uh, my rehab process. And that's obviously shifted a little bit. You know, we had a uh, – so it didn't last week, Sunday. You know, we had a Monday night game. So I was off Sunday. I flew uh, red eye. Uh, so Monday, being able to move around stuff, that was more in the rehab uh, mindset where I'm not just stationary all day. And uh, the previous weeks, I've used kind of my flying day as my my off day. So uh, this last week, Saturday, um, I got a great uh, long session to rehab in and flew, flew up to Vegas, had dinner with Devante, um, walked around uh, a little bit as was noted, a um, couple fan interactions. And then Sunday was a complete off day. So on the off days, I really want to get myself completely off. Like, obviously, I'm still walking and facing the sidelines, but uh, I need at least one day off every single week. So that was uh, that was planned there. And uh, no setbacks. As far as what I talked to Melissa Stark about, um, I never said anything definitive. Uh, she talked about uh, having a conversation with my Amazing doctor. There we go. There we go. <laughs> uh, she talked to my doctor about if it would be insane to try and come back in, uh, you know, three months. And he responded about, you know, the fact that when you bring together a specific type of surgery with a specific patient with uh, the specific amount of uh, stubbornness and desire to get back on the field, then and obviously playing quarterback, then there's a possibility. But um, nothing's changed as far as my timeline. It's we got to be in the mix, and I got to be healthy, and I definitely still want to come back. That's awesome. Go ahead, AJ. So you're telling us that there's a chance. Have when will that be, though? Can you give us a date? Give us a game. What the hell is that? What? What are you drinking? You had all that. Profit. You had all that time. You had all that time, <laughs> and that's Probably. the question you came up oh, with. No, it's that journalism. I could give you a specific date. That's right. Yeah. Like, uh, are you okay? Are you walking on the beach yet? You got, do you have the the dorsal flexion that you talk about that you need? Can you get on your toes? Yeah, you know, I'm still doing a lot of different modalities. Age, mm. a lot of modalities every single day. Um, I know you love that, um, but I haven't. Uh, how heavy is I that bag right there? The, <laughs> <I haven't, laughs> For real. I think that matters. Is the tequila in that bag? 15, 20 ounces worth of stuff in that bag? How heavy is the bag? Listen, there's zero tequila in there. There were zero bongs in there. Wow. Oh. Um, and uh, I don't know what I was... I got a lot... I'm sidetracked now. What day? Tequila, AJ wants to bongs. know what day. You, you, you absolutely just question his journalism... Talents, yeah, yep. I think is what you did originally, but there is no set date. Is that accurate? That's an accurate. Uh, no, there's no set date. I mean, it could it could change if I have a great week, uh, you know, this week and next week. That could be accelerated if we are not in it in three or four weeks. That could, you know, that could uh, take it a different way. But I expect us to be in it, and I expect to come back. So that's about all I can tell you at this point. Aaron, how bad does this suck? This sucks. This sucks. Only looking out of one eye right now with tape covering this one. I couldn't even imagine what our big barbarian jawline friend is experiencing over there. Have we have we seen what it looks like yet? I haven't I haven't been uh, been watching the it's first time. Have we seen it? Doesn't look it that yet? bad right now. It doesn't yeah. look that bad. Does it, does it look like no, it's uh, not Jack that bad. Black? It's just like it's in, just uh, dead. Like I can't just oh open it. Oh my god! Really. It's yeah. not. A, it's all right. Yeah. It's not that red. It was super red before I got this gel in there. So we're we're almost 100 percent probably. Who knows? You look like Jack Jack Black and Shallow Hal, same body type and same same eyes. Yeah. Remember when he puts the goop in his eyes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, good guy. Good movie. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that. Jack Black is a great actor in that movie too. Great guy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, well, ends, well, ends up being yeah, guy. And yeah, you get right. Not being shallow. Yeah, yeah. Shout out Tony Robbins in that movie yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah, shout out. Yep, that guy's the fake clapper. Oh yeah, great voice. Yes, great voice.
fake clapper. Mm-hmm. He motivates the hell out of people. Yep. Big time. Speaking of motivating the hell out of people, you know, people are saying because you're coming back so quick <laughs> that you actually don't have a torn Achilles. Have you heard? That's become an actual talking point that you didn't actually tear your Achilles. It, we, like, for instance, Megan Rapino. Thank you. Yeah, it sucks for us. I'm happy you decided. Yeah, I don't this. like that. I'm yeah, at all. It was terrible. <laughs> yeah. I, I was getting busy. I was getting like sick to my stomach not being able to see out of one eye. Megan Rapino, though, after her last game, she tore her Achilles, I think, six minutes in or whatever mm-hmm. to her final game it was a a walk off that she certainly could never prayed for the the whole entire combo though she said I'm calling Aaron Rodgers because I would like to get this thing handled quickly I would like the recovery to happen quickly it's happening so fast the way you're doing it that there's people that think it's fake it has there been a lot of people that have reached out to you not just like athletes but other humans and is Dr. Elitrosh know that this is kind of what people are going to expect now pretty much how you're healing you're like setting the tone in the conversation for what an Achilles recovery could look like that's a lot of pressure but also pretty insane for some people to imagine yeah, I mean, I have some very interesting thoughts that ESPN would probably try and cut off the broadcast if I started really getting into Ooh. how I feel about about that stuff. But um, hmm. what could that have been? Yeah, come on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I couldn't even fathom <laughs> what saying. that. Could, I couldn't even fathom. <laughs> They're talking about your uh, Achilles. We're yeah. talking about your Achilles, but not maybe not being yeah, torn. The and same. People, you love well, conspiracies. Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah, the it, same people talking about that. You know, the, the, it's inter- entertaining the possibility of conspiracy about my Achilles. Could not possibly fathom a world <laughs> in which anything related to this beautiful experimental gene therapy could be. You know, it could have any any issues with that. Okay. Fascinating. Uh, Fascinating. Okay. Right. Okay. So I just went into it. They probably just cut the feed. I don't give a shit. No, I don't think enough don't people know shit. exactly what you're referring to there. No. But then people will find out, obviously, uh-huh. as we go. But, yes, you are now being yeah. the conversation. All those big brains. All those big brains out there. Let me just let me just shoot you straight. Like, there, there's not a lot of people that uh, have the unique situation that, that I was in. I got hurt in the first first drive of the season. I don't want to retire. I want to come back. I got the best doctor in the country. My full-time job is rehab. And my mindset from the morning after the surgery, or the the injury, before I even got surgery, was I'm going to try and do something that nobody's done before. So I poured my entire energy and research into this. And, I mean, I wasn't even a question whether or not I was going to use Neil. It was, all right, what are the best rehab modalities? Where should I rehab? What can I do at home? What can I add to it? And who's done anything in this realm before? So I talked with a number of people who torn their Achilles. I learned, you know, listened to what they liked, what they, what worked. The majority of those people, you know, uh, a lot of them athletes, awesome people. And I'm so thankful for the time. They were on different timetables, though. They were thinking, listen, we're going to get this thing back and get back to competition, but not in a rush. And I feel like I want to get back. So I'm more rushed because my time is uh, is nearing the end. I don't have as many years left as a Clay Thompson or some of these, you know, amazing athletes who've been hurt, you know, earlier in their career. Um, I want to get back on the field. So my whole goal the entire time is how can I get back on the field? Uh, what can I do from a diet standpoint, from a modality standpoint? from a daily rehab standpoint in order to put myself on the position to play as quick as possible. Um, but yeah, it was, it was ruptured. It was fixed by the best doctor in the land. And my entire focus from September 13th has been rehab and get back on the field. Those modalities have been batting a thousand, apparently from outside looking in with you walking, especially having to walk the entire length of that football field. And then the gentleman, ah, Steve, ooh, uh, the dude you tapped on the shoulder, he was wearing your jersey and you said, nice jersey, took a picture with him. He reported that you actually sped walk mm-hmm. walked off. Yep. So as a Jets fan, which I believe he was, when he saw you move, he was like, hey, He's coming back soon when you do this. Every time you do it, I think you give hope to people who either in the future tear their Achilles and you give hope to Jets fans that you're going to get back on the field this season. Now, you've said it. To get back on the field this season, the boy's got to be in it. Yeah, that's what we need. Achilles, Achilles first. We got to get that thing back. I'm, but, well, I'm going to be I'm gonna be back there full time real soon. Um, real soon. Really? Ooh. Break it? No, that's, that's always been the plan. The plan has been, uh, once we got to Thanksgiving, was to be back there full-time. You know, you know how it works. Uh, I, I heard you make a you know, slight 
side comment there, DB. But um, uh, <laughs> well, no, but we got some breaking you, news. That feels like that's ticker worthy. Yeah, yeah that's, absolutely. Absolutely. that's ticker absolutely. worthy. You're going back to Thanksgiving. No, there's well, there's not. There, you know, it's the holiday season, right? You got Thanksgiving, you got my birthday, and you got Christmas coming. Uh, of course. Then you got AJ's. Then you got AJ's birthday. So you got four holidays in a row here. Well, New Year's Eve, five holidays. Yeah. Which New Year's Eve is before AJ's birthday. AJ is obviously born on his favorite day. Of January 6th, of yeah. course. That yeah. guy's birthday right over there. Bit of a dust up. Yep. Jack Del Rio. That guy right there. I was right here. That I was in right his there. attic. That's not. Hey, listen. <laughs> I want to let everybody know we were doing this show on January 7th. And we had a lot of questions for this guy. Yeah, we we want to let you know. It was his birthday. We didn't know what he was up to. We had no idea what he was doing. Didn't know that many people were going to show up, I don't think. Wow. Yeah.